Hello, everybody. Welcome to the New Jersey Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. My name is Sabelle Rossim. I will be your facilitator for this evening. Thank you all so, so much for being here. It's super important that you're here. Uh, we have some amazing institutions for you to hear from. Uh, they have some great information to share with you. Uh, but before we really get started, I just have a few quick housekeeping items uh, just so that we make sure that everything runs smoothly and we're having a great time. A uh, couple of things. First and foremost, we encourage you asking questions. Please, please, please ask questions. Um, if you are asking questions, you're going to actually click on the Q&A uh, button down at the bottom of your toolbar for the Zoom window. Once you click on that Q&A button, go ahead and type in your questions to the presenters at any time. I stress, at any time. You don't have to wait for the institution that you're uh, asking the question for to actually present, because guess what? It's gonna be a really quick session, about 45 minutes. So it's going to be really, really important that you ask at any point in time, uh, because we won't have that live Q&A at the end. So go ahead and type in those questions in the Q&A. Also, please make sure to address the institution that the question is for, so we know who the question goes to. Also, uh, this is a webinar style type of virtual college fair, which means you're muted and your video is turned off. The panelists cannot see or hear you. So again, that Q&A is super, super important to make sure Sure that you are asking those questions. Now, just a little side note, a little fun fact, your chat is disabled on your end. So what that means is actually, uh, you're not going to be able to interact necessarily in the chat with our presenters, but they may be putting some great information like links or maybe their uh, contact information in the chat. So be sure to check the chat out as well. Also sign up for more sessions. This is one of many, many college presentations that are offered. So sign up for the sessions in the next time slots as well. Last but certainly not least, all sessions are being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com backslash New Jersey. So if your friend missed out, your mom missed out, dad, grandma, whoever wants to see it, they will be able to in the next coming days. Now, without further ado, I would love to introduce our first institution uh, up for this evening, which is Brookdale Community College. Hello, hello, welcome to everyone. We are so happy that you're here with us. And we're hoping that at the end of the session, you're going to have more than you came with. So I'm gonna go right into getting all set and ready, sharing my screen with you guys so that we can kick this off and enjoy our time together along with my other colleagues. My name is Birgit Montesier and I am going to go to my slide right now. I am an interim assistant director in the Office of Admissions at Brookdale Community College. And I'm pleased as punch that uh, you've decided to join us. So let's get started. At Brookdale, we like to say here, we'll get you there because in fact, it will. Brookdale Community College is located in Monmouth County. We have an amazing campus, over 10,000 students annually, and we offer opportunities that will help you reach your goal. And just recently we were top 3% in community colleges in the United States. So you come to Brookdale and you'll see why. So here we are. Not only do we have a flagship uh, campus in, Nept in um, Lincroft, New Jersey, we also have other campuses in Neptune, New Jersey, in Long Branch, in Hazlitt, Wall, and Freehold. And then of course we have our campus online, which we all are very familiar with right now. Uh, but Brookdale always had an online campus that contained at least eight different majors that you can take online completely, but now we are in that mode for everything. Um, we do have different pathways that we can afford you. We do have transfer programs and career programs. In a nutshell, what it means is that our transfer programs prepare you to be transferred to a four-year institution, and our career programs allow you to go directly into the workforce. Being a two-year institution, we really pride ourselves in preparing you in both of these pathways. Um, examples of a career pathway may be our automotive program, our culinary, nursing, and respiratory. And what this means is you're gonna be having more hands-on experience and therefore ready to be able to tackle those real-world experiences. In our transfer pathway, we actually have a more uh, gen ed type integration so that once you have transferred to your four year institution, you'll be well equipped to go directly into your majors with just about all of your gen ed accomplished. Um, areas of this is in, an example of this would be our business, education, architecture, political science, and many others. We have over 50 programs in our transfer 
um, pathway and just about 40 or more in our career program. So whatever you decide, we'll be able to get you there. Because we know that we're gonna be transferring some of you who are not going directly into your career pathways, we have developed partnership programs with several universities and institutions in New Jersey. Um, the first being Georgian Court University, then we have New Jersey City University and Rutgers University. Now, these partnerships are a lot different than just going into uh, another university. We have established literally seamless pathways that you can move from Brookdale into one of these institutions. And better still, you wouldn't necessarily have to be physically going to that institution. You're gonna be located on our different campuses. For example, Georgian Court is located in our Hazlitt campus. Uh, New Jersey University, New Jersey City University is in our wall campus. And uh, Rutgers, Rutgers University is actually on our Lincroft campus. So what that means is you're physically going to be on those campuses, yet you're gonna be afforded all of the accolades and the privileges of being a student in one of these universities. That's great for you, saves you time, saves you money, saves you energy and effort. And yet you graduate at the end of four years with two degrees, a two-year um, associate's degree from Brookdale and a four-year bachelor's degree from one of these institutions. We also have three plus one agreements, which actually allow you to stay with Brookdale for three years and then uh, graduate and go on to those universities for an additional year and yet earn your bachelor's degree from that institution. So we have many ways of getting you again from here to there. Whatever your pathways, we can afford you that. Affordability, speaking of which, and value. Community colleges, as you know, are the most economical way of literally getting you to a higher trajectory on your educational pathways. As you can see from this slide, we have about 5,000 in excess um, per year for a community college such as Brookdale. Um, as you compare that to other four-year institutions that are private and even those that are public, you can see that the cost in comparison can be the difference between graduating with debt and without. So be sure that you consider this very carefully and understand that the information and the degrees and the subjects of information that you'll be studying are just as accredited as any other institution. You just get to do it for less. So for, for those of you who might be interested in joining us, we do have an open house that's coming up April 18th. It's gonna be from 12 to three. If you can join us, it will be on our Brookdale campus in Lincroft. It's a beautiful campus. You'll be able to chat and speak with lots of different individuals and literally go over just about everything that I've just briefly touched on here so that you'll be able to see how exactly, again, Brookdale will be that big little college that gets you from here to there. We are also on social media. We have uh, brookdalecc.edu. You can just get onto our website and literally recount just about everything that I've given you up to this point. Um, any other information, again, can also be uh, reached from our Brookdale Community College website. So we thank you for listening to us and absolutely enjoy the rest of your time with us here. All right, thank you so much. If anyone has any questions for Brookdale Community College, please put it in the Q&A down at the bottom. Next up, we have Syracuse University. All right, wonderful, thank you so much. Um, hi everyone, my name is Jessica Schaffner. I'm an assistant director with Syracuse University. I'm gonna go over the university as a whole, but of course, if you wanna learn more about us in a little bit longer than six minutes, we would definitely encourage you to go onto our website to all of our virtual events. We have them for the entire institution, um, select areas of the institution, as well as all of our academic areas. Now to start off, you can see here that Syracuse University is a traditional residential campus. What do I mean by that? Is that everything is located really in a one-stop shop space, that all of your classes, all of those kind of community aspects, as well as our residential living are in one space. Now, if you're not necessarily sure where Syracuse University is, we're located uh, generally depending where you're coming from in Jersey, 
somewhere about four to five hours away. Uh, we are located smack dab in the middle of New York State, but I think it's important to know that Syracuse, New York, very similar to the university, is mid-size. Um, so we are a city that offers all of the benefits of a city, things like transportation, an international airport, Amtrak station, Greyhound bus station, as well as plenty of off-campus experiences while still being small enough that it is a manageable aspect that our students can really enjoy their academic sphere as a traditional student while having, again, those benefits of being in a city overall. When we're thinking of the academics here at Syracuse University, again, we're considered mid-size with about 15,000 undergraduate students overall. Those 15,000 are ultimately going to be across 10 different schools and colleges, which are listed here. We offer about 200 majors and 100 different minors set between the liberal arts areas, which are the College of Arts and Sciences and Maxwell School, as well as eight other pre-professional areas that are really geared towards a certain career field overall. Please know that you can take classes across all of these 10 schools and colleges. Again, they're all located in that one-stop shop feel for you, only on one campus overall. You can minor across these schools and colleges and even sometimes major across these schools and colleges. About 50% of our students will ultimately graduate with more than one program. So we do really try to offer an interdisciplinary option as much as possible. Now, outside of just the classroom experience, we do try to have our students be as involved as possible in what we call experiential learning, which is taking what you're learning in the classroom and applying it to real world settings. We do that in a couple different formats. Probably research is the most well-known aspect that we do it in though. Syracuse is ranked as an R1 research institution. So we are at that top tier. Our students from all across the university uh, and really no matter their major can get involved in research. Having that academic curiosity, finding an answer to a question that they are very curious about, um, really no matter what discipline you are in. Outside of that, we do have many different shadowing and internship opportunities for students to be involved in. Actually, every single student on our campus does get their own career advisor from day one on top of their academic and peer advisor. And your career advisor is actually in your school or college because we know that if you wanna do an internship for architecture versus you wanna do an internship or shadowing experiences for elementary education, it's gonna be pretty different. So we do wanna make sure that those career opportunities are as specific to you as we possibly can. Now, outside of just the academic realm, Syracuse University really incorporates that full university experience by offering many different community aspects. Syracuse University does draw students from all 50 states and about 170 countries. So we're in an extremely diverse area, not in terms of just geographics, but racially, socioeconomically, politically, we are an entity in its own. And we really encourage our students to have that dialogue with other students of difference. Because we're that residential campus, about 70% of our students do live on campus at any given time. We always wanna make sure there are things going on for our student basis as well. So we offer over 300 different clubs and organizations to be involved in, um, many different lecture series, um, different music festivals. We have two yearly Juice Jam and Mayfest. And then of course, our division one athletics in the ACC conference. Syracuse has actually been ranked multiple times as the number one uh, college in the country for school spirit. So it's definitely something that you absolutely feel while you're on our campus. Now, in terms of just speaking about next steps, if you are interested in Syracuse University, please know that Syracuse University is common application exclusive. When we review students, we are reviewing you based on the school or college that you ultimately applied into. Um, on the common application, there will be a space to identify that. Outside of that, we do require three recommendations for every student, um, two from your teachers, one from your counselor, obviously your transcript, which no, we are really looking at the rigor of your curriculum in the context of uh, your high school so that you really want to challenge yourself there. And then lastly, we have decided to become test optional again for this upcoming year. So if you are a junior um, thinking about applying next year, please know that is completely in your uh, kind of ballpark. 
lastly, we have two decision deadlines, early decision, which is the binding commitment due on November 15th and regular decision, which is the non-binding due January 1st. Um, but if you have any last minute questions, feel free to throw them in the Q&A, happy to help as much as I can. Um, and you can kind of quickly take a snapshot of this um, as I'm a representative for Syracuse University, there's my information as well as our general information. So thank you. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for Syracuse University, please put it in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Butler University. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us tonight. My name is Sarah DiNardo and I'm one of the Assistant Directors of Admission at Butler University. I'm actually a regional representative for the university, so I'm based in the DC metro area and recruit students in the Mid-Atlantic and the New England states. Uh, Butler is a private uh, college, non-religiously affiliated mid-sized university located in Indianapolis, Indiana. We have just over 4,700 undergraduate students and we have about 500 grad students on our campus. While we are located in a major city of Indianapolis, we are five miles north of downtown in a residential neighborhood. We're known for providing small classes, opportunities to engage directly with professors, real world experiences through internships, research with faculty mentors, performances, as well as community engagement. The student population at Butler has changed a lot over the last 10 years or so with about 55% of our student body now coming from out of state. And we have a decent number of students coming from the state of New Jersey every year, which is very exciting. Uh, Butler has an early action deadline of November 1st, a regular decision deadline of February 1st, and our academic profile, our middle 50% range is about a 3.6 to a 4.2 weighted GPA, a 24 to a 30 on the ACT, and an 1150 to 1300 on the SAT. We are a test optional institution and all students will be automatically considered for merit-based scholarships when they apply to the university. We were founded as a liberal arts institution and that still serves as our educational foundation today. With the average class size at 22 and the student to faculty ratio of 11 to one, you'll find your classroom experience to be very student focused and engaging. Uh, professors will get to know you and you'll get to know your classmates really well through lots of discussions and group projects. As you can see here on the screen, we have six different academic colleges that focus in on communication, education, liberal arts and sciences, pharmacy and health sciences, visual and performing arts, as well as business. For students who are kind of unsure what they would like to study, we do have an exploratory studies program and students will begin taking classes within their major um, as early as their freshman year, as early, in addition to, excuse me, taking courses in their core curriculum. A unique feature of the core curriculum at Butler is our Indianapolis community requirement. Uh, students participate in a course where service in the community is integrated into the curriculum. Again, being in Indianapolis, we are definitely great residents and citizens of the community and we wanna support them. While not a requirement for every major, about 75% of our students do complete at least one internship before they graduate. Many of our students, again, taking advantage of our location in the city for those internship experiences. Even though our students absolutely love Indianapolis and love the Midwest, about 40% of Butler students do spend at least one semester away from campus studying abroad through our 200 different study abroad programs in 60 different countries. Because of all these hands-on experiences, Butler students have had significant success after graduation as demonstrated by our 98% placement rate within six months of graduation, whether students are employed or in grad school. The eight dimensions of Butler's BU Be Well framework are the foundation for a transformative and holistic Butler experience. We foster a positive environment that helps students develop both inside and outside of the classroom through eight, these eight dimensions of BUB Well, as you can see on the screen right here in the middle. Butler is a residential college campus with a three-year housing requirement. And over the past five years, we've built two new residence halls, one for first-year students and one for sophomores with the focus on suite style living. In the summer of 2019, we partnered with Bon Appetit as our new dining vendor, and they specialize in sustainability and work with local farmers. 
We have over 130 clubs and student organizations and active Greek life with about 35% of our students participating and division one, 20, excuse me, division one athletic teams. Um, students have free access to lots of tickets and sporting events. Um, and if you're a member of the Dog Pound, which is our official student section, you get special access to our men's basketball games. And on that note, right now, the NCAA tournament is starting in Indianapolis, having the Indianapolis as kind of that host city and that bubble city. And we are super lucky to be hosting some of the first and second round, as well as the Sweet 16 on our campus um, in our historic Hinkle Fieldhouse, which we are all super, super excited about. Um, something that I'm sure a lot of our schools have in common today is that school spirit and great school pride. And at Butler, this is represented through the Butler Way and the community of care. Um, if you are interested in learning more, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to assist you as you navigate the next steps in this process. We are hosting in-person and virtual visits. So please check out butler.edu slash visit to learn a little bit more, but thank you so much for joining us tonight and go dogs. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for Butler University, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up we have Mercy College. Hello everyone, my name is Lindsay Judge. So I am the recruiter for the New Jersey Territory here at Mercy College, um, but I'm happy to assist any students that might need some help. Um, so here at Mercy, we do have over 90 programs and majors within our five schools. So our School of Business, Liberal Arts, Education, Social and Behavioral Sciences, and Health and Natural Sciences. A couple of popular programs I did wanna highlight would be our Design and Animation program, as well as our Music Production program. Um, some counseling, we do have criminal justice, which is another popular one, nursing and veterinary technology, just a few popular ones to name a few. But we do have over 90 programs and majors. We do have three campus locations where you're located in New York and Westchester County, the Dobbsbury campus in the Bronx, we are located right in Waters Place and then right in Manhattan, right off 47th and 34th Street. Uh, we do have housing at our Manhattan campus. So this is our dorm 34. We actually just opened housing in Manhattan this fall. Um, so everything is completely brand new and renovated. So if you are interested in living at the Manhattan campus, I would definitely encourage you to go check it out. We can see the beautiful views. Um, we overlook uh, Macy's and Herald Square. So it's really an awesome location and a beautiful uh, campus view. This is Hudson Hall. So we do have two main residence halls on campus um, at our Dobbsbury campus. We have Hudson Hall and Founders Hall. Um, Hudson Hall is typically for upperclassmen, so sophomores, juniors, and seniors. And then we do have Founders Hall for our incoming freshman students. And we do that on purpose so that um, you get to know students your own age and make your friend group. And then once you do that, you can move on to Hudson Hall. We do have a train located at the bottom of campus, which takes you about 45 minutes into Grand Central. From there, it's about a 10 minute walk to our Manhattan campus. So it's really easy to get to and from campuses. So if you're interested in, you know, getting an internship in the city a couple of days a week, or if you wanted to just take an elective or two at Manhattan, but you want your main campus to be Dobbs Ferry, it's very easy to do that and very accessible to get to and from each campus. We do have a program called PACT at Mercy and PACT stands for Personalized Achievement Contract. And really what it is, just so you have a counselor in high school, it's like having that counselor in college. They help you set up your schedule. They help you set up tutoring, really anything you need once you're done with the point of admissions, the PACT counselor kind of takes over from there and they work with you throughout your four years at Mercy. It's assigned by major. So as long as you keep the same major, you'll keep the same PACT mentor. And students tend to meet with their PACT mentor about 16 times a semester. You get to know them really well and they can help you with things like academic advisement so they'll help you make your schedule um if you don't do so on a test they actually get flagged and they'll just send you an email and be like hey i saw you didn't do so can i set up some tutoring for you i'm not to prior get involved they really just want to see you succeed um so that is a wonderful program that has been great for our attention rates we definitely recommend students take advantage of it we used to only have it for undergraduate students but now it's so successful that we have it for graduate students as well we have over 50 clubs and organizations on campus, so tons of things to get involved with. We do have an Office of Student Life that plans tons of fun things for students to get involved with. Um, being that we are so close to Manhattan, it's very easy to get into the city, whether it's they plan a Broadway show, we're going to see a Yankee game. Um, there's always tons of stuff going on at the Manhattan campus, as well as in the Job Story campus in Westchester. We are Division II athletics, so for our women's teams, we have basketball, field hockey, lacrosse, soccer, softball, and volleyball. And then for our men's teams, we have baseball, basketball, lacrosse, and soccer. Being that we are Division II, we do offer sports scholarships. So if that's something you're interested in, I would definitely encourage you to reach out to the coach. 
Uh, tuition, our tuition is about $20,000 a year, so pretty affordable for a four-year private school. And we do offer over, um, we do offer merit-based scholarships with so a higher GPA, the more money we'll offer you. Students that graduate from Mercy do graduate with less debt than the state and national average. And we do offer over $35 million in scholarship awards each year. Um, so all of that is based off of your financial aid package. So financial aid packages are available starting October 1st. Um, you'll fill that out. And then from there, it will automatically generate your financial aid package to be sent to you if you are accepted. We do offer a $2,000 scholarship for students from New Jersey and uh, Pennsylvania and Connecticut. And that is called the Mercy Blue Scholarship. So you will see that reflected on your financial aid package if you do decide to apply and attend Mercy. Um, so these are some of the places our students have gone on to have internships. Um, so we do have internships built into our curriculum. So that's definitely a great opportunity. We have an Office of Career and Professional Development that helps students prepare for internship opportunities as well as job opportunities post-graduation. They set up um, you know, lunch with a leader, they help you write your resume, they help you write your cover letter, they do things like mock interviews, so you really feel comfortable when you're going to find a job and internship. We have about a 91% positive outcome rate at Mercy, so 91% of our students are either enrolled in a graduate program and continuing their education, or do have a job placement after graduation. If you're interested in applying, you can go to mercy.edu slash apply now. We are also on the Common App, uh, we are SAT, ACT optional, letter recommendation optional, and essay optional, so we do just require a transcript to review your grades for admission. And if you have any questions or if you'd like to follow up with me, this is my contact information. You can always email me at ljudge1 at mercy.edu or admissions at mercy.edu, and I would be happy to chat with you and answer any questions you might have. And thank you all so much for listening. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for Mercy College, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Camden County College. All right, hi everyone. Thanks so much for spending your evening with us. I'm just gonna get my slideshow up here. Um, so I'm here with Camden County College. My name is Amber Hegman. I'm one of the student recruiters here. Uh, so at Camden County College, we really try to make the college uh, application process as smooth as possible. So you'll see we broke it down into six easy steps. But don't worry if you ever get stuck on any of the steps. We are happy to help you um, kind of get over those speed bumps and get you right on track for admissions. So jumping right in, we offer over 120 degree programs and certificate options. So breaking them up, into three different categories. We have our transfer degrees, our career degrees, and our certificates. So looking at them closely, kind of like what is what, um, our transfer degrees are built in for more of the holistic. So you will be taking your general education courses in conjunction with your major areas. So for example, if you are a business student, you will also be taking some humanities, your histories, electives, in addition to your business courses. Then we also have our career degrees. So these are great because you will do your time with us, your two years at Camden County College, and we'll get you set up to be able to jump right into the workforce. So a great example for this would be like veterinarian technician. So on our Blackwood campus, we have a veterinary um, scenario set up. So the students are actually working hands-on with animals. Um, so you are getting that confidence that you need to go right out into the workforce. Same thing with dental hygiene, automotive technician, engineering. So all extremely hands-on focused um, career paths that get you ready to just jump right in um, to your passion. We also have certificate programs um, in addition to apprenticeships. So more on that trade side for those that are interested in really working with their hands. Um, we have a lot of the HVAC, real estate, more of those trade type programs uh, in addition to certificates. So if you're just interested in learning a brand new skill um, or maybe a new hobby, we have tons of certificate options for you. But we really try to make education as accessible as possible. So we have several campuses um, with Blackwood being our home campus, but we have a campus located in our Camden City, which we actually have a shuttle that goes back and forth to give you that convenience to have the option of going to either campus. Um, we also have a location in Cherry Hill. We have our regional emergency training center, which focuses on our emergency response type majors like the police academy or our fire science training. 
Um, we have a Technical Institute of Camden County College, which offers all of our um, certificate type programs in the evening. And then our newest addition is the Joint Health Science Center, which is just a couple blocks away from the Camden City campus, which houses uh, all of our um, health science programs. So these are all of them at a glance, but there is one I didn't mention and it's your own home. So just picture your own home there because uh, we have a ton of options when it comes to distance learning. So that we really try to make education fit into your lifestyle, um, your work schedule, or what you need to do to finish your or complete your degree. So one thing that is a huge factor when you're looking at higher education is the cost. So I know there's a ton of factors and you're already doing your homework, but looking at this, you can see Camden County College, one of our pride points is the cost of attendance because after your time in higher education, we know that you want to take the next step with your life. And by graduating with little to no debt, you can continue your travels when we get there, um, but also you can achieve that dream car, that apartment, but move on to your next step. So Camden County College really strives to continue to provide education at an affordable price. But we make sure we support our students from day one. So here are just some of the, like a snapshot of some of the services that we offer. So academic advising, you never plan out your schedule alone. It's a co-partner. You make sure you are on track. Um, when you're working with your advisor. We have free tutoring uh, that they make sure that you're never struggling. And it's always great to just build that right into your schedule. Um, and then we also have a career services and transfer services that help you decide because you don't have to have your major all picked out. We help you kind of explore that option. Um, so tons of opportunities for our students to be successful with our student services. But we wanna make sure you know, it's not all about homework and book work. We want you to have fun too. So your time at Camden County College, you will be able to make new friends, start networking, and meet your future colleagues out in the field. So we encourage you to get involved in one of our student organizations. Um, we are always open to starting a new one, so you can always get your friends together, and we will help support the launch of your new club. We also have over 14 different athletics that you can get involved in. And then we also have several partnerships when it comes to transferring. So we have a premier partnership with Rutgers Camden, um, where you can actually be a dual enrolled student for, with both Rutgers and Camden County College and complete your degree at a fraction of the cost. We even have several programs where you can never even have to leave our main campus to get your bachelor's degree from Rutgers Camden. But this is the end goal and this is what we're here for. So we wanna see you in these photos. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our recruitment team uh, at recruitment at camdencc.edu, or you can email me directly at ahegeman at camdencc.edu. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. So if you have any questions for Camden County College, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Last but certainly not least, we have Castleton University. Hi everyone, my name is Joe Zeitler. Uh, I'm a graduate of Castleton, uh, 2008. I'm a soci I was a sociology major originally from upstate New York. I'm the assistant director of admissions and I review all files from New York State south down to Florida. So that's where all of you folks come on my radar on that regard. So first and foremost is location. So Castleton is literally located in the heart of the Green Mountains. We're only five minutes away from the New York border and only 15 minutes away from Rotland, Vermont to be the third largest city. And we're an hour and a half south of Burlington, Vermont. So that's a common location if you're familiar with the state of Vermont. We're the 18th oldest university in the United States and Vermont's first higher ed institution. We pride ourselves on that history and our background. We've got over 75 different programs to choose from. It is okay to be undeclared. So I just wanna emphasize that we are a liberal arts school. So we've got over those 75 different programs to choose from, and we highly recommend complementing your major with a minor. So there's a lot of programs in which you can do that on that front. I chose Castleton primarily due to its size. So overall size is about 2000 students, average class size is 17 to 20 on that front. The majority of my professors I had, I knew them on a first name basis, which was excellent too. I am a big supporter of studying abroad opportunities, but obviously with COVID-19, it's definitely uh, messed everything up in that regard. We have ample study abroad opportunities. Typically, uh, internships are huge. And then research, a key thing, very sorry, a key variable about that is that all of our research is saturated at the undergraduate level. 
And what's important to keep in mind is it's saturated at the undergraduate level so you can build up your resume to gain admission to your graduate school experience. We want to encourage you to get involved. And this is a big piece of advice I give to all students is no matter what college you decide to go to, be as involved as you possibly can. The more involved you are with the college, the better time you'll have. We've got over 50 clubs, organizations to choose from, over 65 fine arts uh, performances. We have the largest collegiate stage. So if you like theater, it's prime real estate for that too. Another little uh, bell and whistle is that all students that enroll in the Castleton get a free season ski pass to Pico. And you can upgrade that to Killington Resort for 250 and that covers all of Killington. But why I love to talk about our Killington Beast Pass is that's a free pass, but includes equipment rental and lessons. So if you want to try it out for the first time, highly recommend doing so. We are also primarily a residential campus. So the majority of our students reside on campus. We're not a suitcase college campus, but the majority of students go home on the weekends. There's a lot of benefits of being a first year student. So first and foremost, if you have a car, feel free to bring it. First year students are allowed to have cars on campus. We don't segregate first year students in regards to residence halls. So what I mean by that is a lot of schools, they say, thanks so much for coming. Here's the most rundown dorm on campus where all the first year students live. We don't do that. So at Castleton, each of our residence halls has a 60-40 ratio, 60% upperclassmen and 40% first year students. You guys get to choose whatever style residence hall you want to live in. You'll get that. And we're also transparent with costs. So we don't nickel and dime you for different styles of residence halls. It's the same price across the board. We've um, invested over 80 million into our campus too. So I think that's another important variable to reflect upon. Due to our size, it's monumental to kind of boast about the fact that we have over 20 varsity sports programs. Uh, we do have a football program. That's a common uh, sport here at Castleton. Uh, club sports, intramurals are also huge and over 180 sporting events. I wanna quickly run down what is required in order to apply to Castleton. So first and foremost, we are a common application institution. We obviously do uh, require your high school transcript. We need to make sure that you're on a solid college preparatory track, especially not slacking off senior year. That's a big no-no. Uh, SATs, ACTs are optional. We do require an essay. We do wanna see those letters of recommendation. Typical student that comes in to Castleton is gonna be that solid B average student. So we have students above that, students just below that on that front. And then there's some average SAT sections. Over 81% receive financial aid, which consists of loans, grants, scholarships on that front. As you can see, our range is from a thousand all the way up to full tuition. And then if you do want to contact us, this is the best page. Take a quick uh, photo real quick of how to contact us. What I like about this is that it does include uh, we are Spartans at castleton.edu. And that literally is our student email account. So if you have student life questions, feel free to check that out too. And then lastly, we want to encourage you to visit. So right now, Vermont is very... Uh, stringent on the visit options, but we have just opened it up to out-of-state families. So we do want to encourage you to come up for a visit. We also have the virtual tour option where you can do 360s of inside the residence halls on that front too. So if you have any questions, I'll drop my contact information into the chat box. But like I said, I am the counselor that reviews all New Jersey files. Thank you. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for Castleton University, please put it down in the bottom at the Q&A button. Um, now I would love if our presenters could actually pop up on video and uh, join me because we have a few extra minutes and I have a question for them. My question for this evening is what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we will just start um, in presentation order. So Brookdale Community College, what advice would you give? Well, I'm a mom first <laughs> and I have two kids in college. Um, but my best advice, which is the same I would say to my kids, is find a place where you can be happy, find a place that you can afford, and find a place that's going to be effective for whatever course of study you choose. So we're not expecting you to know exactly what you want to be when you first start, but we do want you to be in a place where you can develop whatever that is. So know yourself, know what's important to you, and then go after that college or institution that is going to provide that for you. That's my best advice. Love it, thank you. Syracuse University? I don't know if I can follow up, Bridget. That was a great, a great answer. Um, I guess my advice is a little bit more practical is that as you're starting to look at colleges, as you are starting to sign up for a bunch and bunch of emails coming up, 
create an email that is completely different and separate as well as professional um, out, and make sure that you're signing up with that email. So if you want Syracuse University to email you, uh, maybe do your first and last name at gmail.com, right? And this allows you to make sure that everything's going to one spot so you don't miss everything um, as well as kind of keep it separate from your personal life. Thank you. Butler University? All right, my piece of advice for you students listening in today is to schedule time with the parent or adult in your life that will be helping you navigate the college search process outside of the home. I know this is kind of difficult right now during COVID, but if you have an opportunity to kind of set an hour or two aside on a weekend or a night of the week, that you can just exclusively talk about the college search process with that person. I think that's really great. That way, when you come back home, whether it be coming back after a long day of school or at work, your parent or adult is not nagging you and you don't get, your parents don't get mad at you, right? So it's a great kind of win-win if you can do it at a coffee shop, an ice cream shop, something like that. I just think that's such an awesome opportunity so that you can have nice, normal family conversations that don't always result, or excuse me, revolve around college and the next step after you graduate high school. Great advice so far. Mercy College, what would you add? I would say that any students, um, just some advice for going into the college search process is you're already kind of doing it, but go to as many virtual events right now as you can, because now is a great time to start narrowing down what schools you're actually going to visit in the fall when hopefully things are back to normal. Um, and definitely utilize your school counselor, start getting yourself familiar with the college process and how things are going to look, and especially on Naviance. And just start doing your research now. You're already doing it because you're here, but I would just say keep on with that. Um, and great job being here today. Thank you, thank you. Camden County College? Uh, my best advice would be to visit, visit, visit. So visit a large school, visit a small school, visit your community college. Picture yourself there. You're not gonna be able to get that from the website. I mean, of course, do your research before you go, <laughs> but make sure you can actually see yourself there. Um, and look at the students, look at people walking around. Are they smiling? Are they happy? Are they greeting you? Um, I think once you can picture yourself there, um, it becomes real and you get excited. And this is an exciting time and it can be overwhelming, but just try to enjoy the process because you'll look back on it and be like, wow, I did it. Thank you so much. Last but certainly not least, Castleton University. I'm used to being uh, at the end with my last name. So I guess uh, my, my big piece of advice to families, to students, take a deep breath. Don't forget to take a deep breath, relax. Uh, for smaller colleges, I'm not gonna speak for everyone on this panel, but communication is key, you know? So if you guys have questions, feel free to give us a call. We want you to be able to sleep at night. So uh, ask those questions. And then we also have a whole system where we add notations that you actually did call. And that looks really, really good in your file prior to us rendering a decision on that front. So take a deep breath and communication is key. All right, awesome. Thank you, everybody. I really, really appreciate that. I mean, I learned a thing or two, so I'm sure our attendees did as well. And my attendees, I hope you took some notes because these are the experts. So definitely listen up and uh, I'm super glad that you were here to hear all that awesome information. All right, I just wanna thank everybody uh, for joining us this evening for the virtual college fair. Whether you're an attendee in the audience and learn some amazing uh, information about these institutions or whether you're a panelist and you were here this evening um, and uh, you were here to present your awesome institution. So thank you so, so much to everybody. Couple quick things before I let you go. Uh, there's going to be a quick survey. So my attendees, after you close this window, a very quick survey. I mean, literally the words very quick are on the slide. Four question survey will appear. Just give us some feedback. We super appreciate it. Uh, also, sign up for more sessions. Like I said earlier, these uh, this is not only the only uh, college presentation for this evening. There are so many others offered in the next time slot. So feel free to check those out. Last but certainly not least, Maybe mom missed out on this evening, maybe grandma, dad, maybe a friend wants to check out these institutions as well, or maybe you just wanna relive the fun. A recording will be available within the next coming days at strivescan.com backslash New Jersey. Once again, everybody, thank you all so much for joining us and I hope you have a great evening. Thank you.